Okay, in this Crush 100 challenge, I've been putting out videos and stuff, and my friend David, who's at DJR Performance on Instagram, saw my medicine ball throws that I was doing. And I'm gonna be doing some videos coming up with this guy, Drew Cooper, who hits, gets like 205 miles an hour ball speed dead straight. So uh, with Drew, I asked him to throw a medicine ball, and he threw it like a certain way. And then I threw a medicine ball, same, same weight, just because I wanted to see how he moves his body differently. And David saw those videos and he said, hey, Brendan, I think if you can learn how to throw a medicine ball correctly in the correct sequence and start doing some exercise stuff in the right sequence, it could shortcut the process of cr cut 100, of crush 100, and really get me to uh, where I need to be to do things away from a golf ball and kind of uh, in the correct sequence. All right, David, so you were saying that you saw on Instagram these med ball throws that I was doing, and I was just trying to get it to go as far as I could, and that is kind of my pattern. When, when, what, what did you see, and when I think of what is powerful, what did you see and how I kind of moved just to get that med ball? Is that you, you, your tendency, your default pattern is to jerk from the top. Yeah. And then the legs finish it. Yes. We need the legs to start it, and then the upper body to finish it. Uh -huh. So yeah. I had to talk about if someone said, "Hey, I'll give you a million dollars if you take a punch from Mike Tyson," uh -huh. and I said, "Well, wait a minute," and he says, "No, no, he's not going to use his hips at all or his legs. He's just going to punch." Okay. I'm like, okay, I'll, I I can survive that, but right. if they said no, he's allowed to go like this. Yeah. No, I'm out. Yeah, Because right. that's death. You will yeah. die. So yeah. same thing in the med ball throw, or for that matter, any any athletic motion it doesn't really matter what it is, mm -hmm. right? If you don't start with your hips then it's just not gonna be that great all right this is my question for you that i have with all this stuff is like the brain specificity because like i know a guy who's like major league baseball player for 20 years and when you see his baseball swing i mean he's got a sequence it's great and now that he's retired he's trying to be a golfer and he looks like every other amateur golfer it's a top to bottom yeah so the sequence is all wrong so what's the point in exercising this if my brain is just gonna think oh this is med ball throw and I'm gonna have a good sequence how do we get that to translate from exercise stuff into golf swing stuff <laughs> I mean that's well that that's, tough. that's that's the question but it's just pure reps pure reps right the I had someone come in there the other day and they said they wanted to do these movements and didn't want the burden of the ball and I thought that was absolutely the burden brilliant. of the golf ball yeah absolutely brilliant yeah because the if you hit one bad shot, you automatically don't want to see another bad shot. Who wants to see bad shots? Yeah. So you're going to automatically go into a protective mode, yeah. which is I want to make contact and make the ball go somewhere where I think. And we automatically think the best way to do that is to just hit it with our upper body. Right. Okay. It's, I've, 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 I've heard from professional golfers. I ask them, do you ever worry about missing the ball? They say almost every swing. Just missing the golf ball completely. Because, because they are so deep. It's yeah. like, there's. I'm not going to get there. Yeah, but then thwack. But it yeah. does. Yeah, all right. The more reps you can do where your body just goes into a default pattern where everything you do looks like this. Yeah. Whether it's throwing a baseball, yeah. hitting a golf ball, hitting a tennis ball, serving a volleyball, serving a tennis ball, punching someone, yeah. anything. It needs to all have that same kinetic sequencing sit back on it and then move your hips push off the ground and feel how much you move without using any arms now finish it and sink it up sink it up sink it sink it sink it your shoulders down not so much up and down not so much up and down, just rotation. Oh. Gotcha. There you go. Uh, nothing. Like, uh, that's all I got. Uh, so if I go like this. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. There's no comparisons. It's like, why would you 
why would you even think of doing it that way? Yeah, yeah. Straight arm, straight, straight. <laughs> yeah, see? Now rip the hips open and then rip the hand. Like you're throwing a frisbee. Mm. There you go. Mm. Straight arms. Mm. Straight arms. Triceps release. That's it. One, they want to make it. They want to make it like a golf swing. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the first mistake. So they go like this. Take the ball back and go up. Yeah. No. Doesn't help you at all right there. So I treat med ball throws as their own sport. It's its own sport. And if you get really good at them, there's a lot of carryover. But don't think of a med ball throw as a golf swing with the ball. Okay. Bad mistake. This is basically the motion. You're right here. This is right outside my knee. I'm loaded, but I'm not crazy. I'm here. And then from here, I push and then finish. Yeah. So I just want to get the push right first, right? Like basically no arms to start just to feel it. Yep. And notice how much. Now finish it. Hands low. Front foot now is doing this. Yeah, on some Matthew Wolf stuff. With the ball, you want to have an upward trajectory. Yeah. But you want the ball to go flat. So how do we do that? You want upward trajectory. I do. I. And if you don't believe this and whatever, but I don't want. I don't know how this works. I don't understand. I oh, want, I, see, I, see. Yeah, I, I want push, and, and when I push here, this goes here. That's what I want. So I act like I'm throwing it to a second story, yeah. but the ball is actually to the first story. So the way you do that is you keep this posture. So here you go here. This pushes up. This stays and gets low. I don't fake it. I just rotate. Yeah. So we're going here. Slow transition. Slow. Take away the whole pound. And then you're six nice pounds. Pop. Oh, 100 to 6. Okay.
Oh, stay in front. Okay. What's the problem with throwing to a wall? Can't, one, number one is I can't see ball flight. Okay. I want no spin. Yeah. And I want to be in this trajectory, right? If I'm throwing, like, you can't tell that that has a lot of spin. Yeah. You really can't tell. Uh -uh. I mean, I know because I put a lot, a, lot, a lot on it. And two, the one thing I see a lot on the internet are people throwing med balls and they're throwing it like, even though they're going here, that's fine, but they go out. Oh yeah, at the end. So it goes like... Oh yeah, right. And I'm not really sure what that's going to benefit. Yeah. I don't know any sport that, that you want to look like this coming through. Uh-uh. I just don't know which one that is. Judo, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. A judo throw. <laughs> so the idea on anything, right? We hit tennis forehand. Up. Yeah. We're going to hit a baseball. It's up. Golf. Everything's everything's like this. Yeah. Like this. Nothing's like this. Because they feel like they could hit it into the wall harder when they tilt that towards yeah, the Yeah, so you see a lot of people and they get real close. They go. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. Here. You throw it here so you can see it. And just fire. Yeah, and like get some trajectory on it. Yeah. All right, David. So, so we did. We've improved my medicine ball form. It's it's going to be like a golf swing, where it's you know it's going to take practice. Like, it's a, yeah, it's yeah, practice. Yeah. Let's get into some more golfish style stuff. Swings for a few minutes. As far as I know, we we have this here, and and you have speed six or whatever else. Because I just want to why it's fresh in my mind what I'm doing with the med ball. Maybe like a transition move. I don't want to like straight up pick up a golf club, but something that's a little more. Let's do the roll. Okay. Body to do half swing. 
Don't dip too much on the back. Stay tall and get taller. Take it back a little more. There you go. Now you want me to do that four times, eight times thing? I just want the back swing to be slower than the back, the follow through. And half the distance too. So you want to go back and then finish pretty full. But not around you, just full extension. Too dippy. Too dippy. Show me. Are you going? Yes. No, stay tall. Tall to barely taller. <laughs> go from, go, start at six foot and end up six one. Better than? Okay. Punch shots. Hard punch shots. There you go. A little slower transition. Yeah, relax. Those last two at the end were good. Yeah. Well, when I got tired. You know, when I had when I had the energy, I could just do this. It's tired. I had to go. But the early ones were very squatty. The rope with the rope with the the torch striker ball is good for me because I just want to go good for everyone. that. Okay, that's it. I'm pretty gassed by this point. Uh, David, you can find on Instagram is the best way to contact him at DJR Performance on Instagram. He, uh, he has a mobile gym right now that goes all over Long Beach and the South Bay slash Southern California area. So just uh, give him a give him a, a message. Even if you don't live in the area, he's uh, happy to answer any questions that you guys have. And I'd love to see you tag at Be Better Golf and at DJR Performance and let me see your med ball throws or just get anything heavy and go out into like, well, I've been taking like my weight, a 15 pound weight and just throw it in the grass. I want to see how you do it. And David will comment uh, how you're doing and how you can make it better because I think it will help your golf swing, huh, David? Yeah, it'll help your athleticism overall, yeah. which will help your golf swing. Great. All right, just like MTV Cribs, David, give me, give me the quick tour of the new van and everything that's in it. <laughs> and because this is like, this is crazy right. for how much is here. This is really cool if you're we into got, golf uh, fitness. Rotex, Rotex stuff, bands, straps, TRXs. Um, and then here we got free weights, mm -hmm. med balls. Wait, oh, free weights on the bottom. All different. Uh, oh, all kinds of bars. All kinds of uh, med balls. Med balls. Can you come around this way. Okay, here we got uh, we got a pile box. And we got a full uh, array of kettlebells. Jeez. And we got uh, several different sandbags. Stick mobility. Stick mobility. The push-up thing. Oh, that thing's cool. The uh, soap on a rope or whatever that thing oh, is. Oh yeah. Sand dune stepper. Um, the Bulgarian bag is over here. Bulgarian bag. Wow, that is really cool. Slam balls, normal med balls, balls you slam and bounce them the ground. So uh, how do you decide what you use with a person? Just fits your eye or whatever? or Whatever they need. Okay. Everyone's different. Yep. And some, you know, I have, uh, I have everything from a, uh, uh, someone who's never played golf to a uh, tour professional. Okay, I'll ask you, because there's, I know the demographic of Be Better Golf and stuff. If you're going from like our age and older, what's the number one tool that you like the most for golfers? Probably. If you had one thing that you could get people really good at, out of your truck. Probably med ball throws. Yeah. Yeah, making power. Yep. 
Yeah, that's the one thing as you get older. How heavy, how heavy would you generally recommend for men? Six pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what we were using today. Yep. Okay, great. See, so this is a useful video. Not many people will watch it, but it's very useful. <laughs> All right, see ya. All right.